The intertwining of sexuality and spirituality is not a new idea. It is a concept that has been woven into the fabric of human culture and consciousness for millennia. From the earliest days of human civilization, people have sought to understand the mysteries of existence, and in doing so, they have often turned to both the physical and the metaphysical realms. Throughout history, cultures across the globe have recognized a deep connection between these two fundamental aspects of the human experience. This connection is evident in the rituals, ceremonies, and artistic expressions that have been passed down through generations. Whether through the sacred dances of indigenous tribes, the elaborate ceremonies of ancient civilizations, or the intimate practices of spiritual seekers, the link between sexuality and spirituality has been a constant thread. From ancient fertility rituals to tantric practices, humanity has long sensed a link between the ecstasy of physical union and the transcendent states sought in spiritual pursuits. These practices were not merely about physical pleasure. They were seen as a means to access higher states of consciousness and connect with the divine. The act of lovemaking was often imbued with sacred significance, viewed as a way to merge the earthly with the heavenly. This enduring connection suggests a profound truth about our nature, one that modern science is now beginning to unravel. Researchers are delving into the neurological and psychological aspects of sexual and spiritual experiences, uncovering the ways in which these experiences can alter brain chemistry, enhance emotional well-being, and even promote healing. The scientific exploration of these phenomena is shedding new light on the age-old wisdom that has been preserved in spiritual traditions. For centuries, this link has been explored through mythology, art, and religious practices. Mythological stories often feature gods and goddesses whose relationships and interactions mirror human experiences, reflecting the sacredness of sexual union. Artistic depictions of these myths have been found in ancient temples, caves, and other sacred sites, serving as a testament to the enduring power of these narratives. Ancient civilizations often depicted their deities in sexually suggestive poses or engaged in acts of lovemaking. These representations were not merely for titillation. They conveyed deeper spiritual truths about creation, fertility, and the balance of opposites. The union of male and female deities symbolized the harmonious integration of different forces, a concept that was central to many spiritual traditions. These representations weren't simply about physical pleasure, they symbolized creation, fertility, and the union of opposites. The act of creation, whether it be the birth of a child or the manifestation of a new idea, was seen as a sacred process that required the merging of complementary energies. This understanding was reflected in the art and rituals of ancient cultures, which celebrated the creative power of sexual union. This merging of the physical and the spiritual was seen as a pathway to enlightenment, a way to connect with the divine forces that govern the universe. Spiritual seekers often engaged in practices that combined physical intimacy with meditation, prayer, and other forms of spiritual discipline. These practices were believed to open the channels of energy within the body, allowing individuals to experience a deeper connection with the divine. However, as societies evolved, and religious doctrines became more codified, the explicit connection between sexuality and spirituality was often suppressed or reinterpreted. The rise of organized religions brought with it a set of moral codes and social norms that sought to regulate human behavior, including sexual conduct. In many cases, the sacredness of sex was overshadowed by notions of sin and guilt, leading to a more repressive attitude towards sexuality. The sacredness of sex became overshadowed by moral codes and social taboos. These taboos often portrayed sexual desire as something to be controlled or suppressed, rather than celebrated as a natural and sacred part of life. This shift in perspective had a profound impact on how people viewed their own bodies and their relationships with others, leading to a more fragmented understanding of the connection between sexuality and spirituality. Yet the underlying connection persisted, finding expression in mystical traditions and esoteric practices that continued to explore the transformative potential of sexual energy. These traditions often operated on the fringes of mainstream society, preserving ancient wisdom and practices that emphasized the sacredness of sexual union. Through rituals, meditations, and other spiritual disciplines, practitioners sought to harness the power of sexual energy for personal and spiritual growth. Today, 
we stand at a unique point in history. With the advent of modern technology and scientific research, we have the tools to explore these ancient connections in new and profound ways. Scientists and spiritual practitioners alike are coming together to study the intersections of sexuality and spirituality, seeking to understand how these experiences can enhance our well-being and deepen our connection to the universe. Science is beginning to provide a new lens through which we can understand this ancient connection. By examining the brain's response to sexual and spiritual experiences, researchers are uncovering the neural pathways that link these two aspects of human life. This research is revealing the profound impact that these experiences can have on our mental, emotional, and physical health. By exploring the neurological underpinnings of both sexual and spiritual experiences, we can gain a deeper appreciation for their intertwined nature and their profound implications for human well-being. This understanding can help us to reclaim the sacredness of sexuality, recognizing it as a powerful force for connection, healing, and transformation. As we continue to explore these connections, we open the door to a more integrated and holistic understanding of what it means to be human. At the heart of both sexual and spiritual experiences lies the autonomic nervous system, a complex and fascinating network that operates largely outside of our conscious control. This intricate network of nerves regulates our body's unconscious functions, including heart rate, breathing, and arousal. It ensures that our bodies respond appropriately to various stimuli, maintaining balance and homeostasis. When we engage in activities that evoke strong emotions, whether it's making love or meditating, the autonomic nervous system plays a crucial role in orchestrating our physiological responses. These responses are not just limited to physical changes, but also encompass emotional and psychological dimensions. During sexual activity, the sympathetic branch of the autonomic nervous system kicks into gear, this branch is responsible for the body's fight or flight response, which prepares us for intense physical activity. This is our fight or flight response, designed to prepare us for action. It heightens our senses, increases our heart rate, and redirects blood flow to our muscles, ensuring we are ready for whatever comes our way. Our heart rate and breathing quicken, blood flow is redirected to our muscles, and our senses become heightened. This state of arousal is essential for both survival and the intense physical activity associated with sexual encounters. As we approach orgasm, the parasympathetic branch takes over, inducing a state of deep relaxation and euphoria. This shift from the sympathetic to the parasympathetic system is what allows us to experience the profound pleasure and release that comes with climax. This interplay of sympathetic and parasympathetic activity creates the intense wave of pleasure associated with sexual climax. It's a delicate balance that our bodies have perfected over millennia of evolution. Interestingly, many of these same physiological changes occur during spiritual experiences. Practices like meditation, prayer, and chanting can trigger similar responses in the autonomic nervous system, leading to feelings of deep connection and transcendence. When we engage in practices like meditation, prayer, or chanting, we can experience a sense of heightened awareness, a feeling of connection to something larger than ourselves, and even profound bliss. These practices can alter our brainwave patterns, heart rate, and breathing, mirroring the changes seen during sexual arousal. These experiences are often accompanied by changes in heart rate, breathing patterns, and brainwave activity that mirror those observed during sexual arousal and orgasm. This suggests a deep underlying connection between our physical and spiritual selves. This overlap in physiological responses suggests that the brain may be processing these experiences along similar neural pathways. The same regions that light up during sexual pleasure are also active during moments of spiritual ecstasy. In other words, the same brain regions that light up when we experience sexual pleasure may also be involved in generating feelings of spiritual ecstasy. This shared neural circuitry provides a compelling biological basis for the enduring connection between sex and spirituality. This shared neural circuitry provides a compelling biological basis for the enduring connection between sex and spirituality. It highlights the profound ways in which our bodies and minds are interconnected, and how our most intimate experiences can also be our most transcendent. To fully grasp the intertwined nature of sex and spirituality, 
we can look back through the lens of evolution. This journey takes us back millions of years to the very origins of life on Earth, where the first organisms began to develop the basic instincts for survival and reproduction. These primal urges have been refined and elaborated upon through countless generations, leading to the complex behaviors we observe today. From the elaborate courtship displays of birds of paradise, where males perform intricate dances and display their vibrant plumage to attract females, to the synchronized movements of mating fireflies, which light up the night in a mesmerizing display to find their perfect match, the animal kingdom is replete with examples of rituals that serve to attract mates and ensure the continuation of the species. These behaviors are not random. They are the result of millions of years of evolution, fine-tuning each species' approach to reproduction. These rituals, often involving intricate dances, vocalizations, and visual displays, are not just for show. They are critical for the survival of the species, ensuring that only the fittest and most attractive individuals pass on their genes. These behaviors are deeply encoded in the genetic makeup of each species, highlighting their evolutionary significance. The DNA of each organism carries the blueprint for these complex behaviors, passed down through generations. Humans, too, have their own set of rituals that have evolved over millennia. From traditional dances and cultural festivals to wedding ceremonies, our behaviors are rich with meaning and purpose. While our mating rituals might seem less instinctual and more culturally driven than those of our animal counterparts, they serve a similar purpose, to foster connection, intimacy, and ultimately, reproduction. Modern dating scenes, from romantic dinners to the use of dating apps, are just the latest evolution in our quest for companionship. These rituals, whether ancient or modern, serve to create bonds between individuals, fostering a sense of connection and intimacy that is essential for the continuation of our species. Yet, our capacity for ritual extends far beyond the realm of procreation. Humans engage in a wide variety of ceremonies and practices that have nothing to do with mating, but are equally important for our social and spiritual well-being. We engage in elaborate ceremonies to mark births and deaths, celebrate harvests and appease deities. These rituals help us navigate the complexities of life, providing structure and meaning to our existence. These rituals, passed down through generations, serve to bind communities together, provide meaning and purpose, and connect us to something greater than ourselves. They are a testament to our shared humanity and our need for connection and belonging. Could it be that our capacity for spiritual experience emerged from the same evolutionary wellspring as our mating rituals? This intriguing possibility suggests that the roots of our spiritual impulses are deeply intertwined with our biological heritage. Some anthropologists and evolutionary biologists believe so. They argue that the same neural mechanisms that drive our reproductive behaviors may also underpin our spiritual experiences. They posit that the intense emotions, social bonding, and transcendent experiences associated with both sex and spirituality may stem from shared neural mechanisms that evolved to promote survival and reproduction. These mechanisms, originally developed to ensure the continuation of the species, may have been co-opted for other purposes over time. Over time, these mechanisms were co-opted for other purposes, giving rise to the rich tapestry of human cultural and spiritual expression we see today. Our festivals, gatherings, and rituals are all part of this intricate web of behaviors that have evolved to meet our social and spiritual needs. This evolutionary perspective offers a fascinating glimpse into the origins of human consciousness and the deep-seated biological roots of our spiritual impulses. It suggests that our quest for meaning connection and transcendence is not a recent development, but has been part of our evolutionary journey for millennia. It suggests that our quest for meaning, connection and transcendence may be inextricably linked to our primal urges for intimacy and procreation. This connection between our biological heritage and our spiritual aspirations offers a profound insight into what it means to be human.